Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today I'm going to be making idli and dosa with bajra. If you haven't seen the video that we made dosa and idli with rice, check it out. It's going to be in the description box below. The health benefits of bajra are that it helps with iron deficiency. It is a winter millet, so it is, it's very nice to add to your diet. It detoxifies your body. It helps to prevent cancer. It is gluten free. So the ingredients are two cups bajra, one cup urad dal, and one by fourth cup of brown rice. In market, you can find bajra as pearl millet. In Telugu, bajra is known as sajjalu. In the olden times, people used to eat this a lot. So my grandma and my grandparents are very strong, honestly. Bajra looks like little pearls, which are brownish. Is That's the reason why the idlis and dosas might have a brownish tone to them. Take the ingredients into a dish. And then we're going to wash it multiple times and drain it again because Grains contain phytic acid. This acid prevents nutrients from entering our body. So it's safe to wash it multiple times. Now that we've finished washing it, add fresh water and let it soak for about eight to 10 hours. We are gonna be using the same water for grinding the batter. Using this water will help the batter ferment. It's been eight hours and now we're gonna grind the millet. We're gonna take a high speed grinder because pearl millets are harder than any other millets. Now that we've finished grinding, beat up the batter in a clockwise direction and then we're gonna ferment it for more than eight hours. If you live in a cold place, set it in an oven with the light on. But if you're in a hot place, you can just leave it on the countertop. This is the right consistency of the batter. It isn't too liquidy and it isn't too green. You can feel for yourself. Let's check our batter after eight hours. Now that the batter is fermented, you can see that there are air bubbles in the batter, which shows that it is nicely fermented. Any fermented food is full of vitamin B12 and is natural probiotic. The batter is now at an idli consistency, but we're gonna take this into another bowl and add salt and water to it to make a dosa batter consistency. Heat the dosa pan and pour the dosa batter onto the pan. Move it around in swirls to make the classic dosa shape. If you wish, you may add any toppings you want to the dosa. So our dosas are ready. To make it even healthier, you can enjoy it with vegetable chutney. Add a little bit of salt to the batter to make the idli batter. It's already at the right consistency for us, so we can get started. Use desi ghee or water to wet the plates of the idli stand. Next, you can pour the batter into the little plates. Applying water or ghee, make sure that the idli won't stick to the idli stand. There are a lot of health benefits for bajra, but these are only three more. Bajra is full in fiber, helps to manage diabetes, and also helps to weight loss. You might notice that the idlis turn out with a brownish tone. That's good because that means it worked out well. We've been eating this for a long time and it's so good. It might look a little sticky, but it's actually very soft and spongy. My brother loves it and he's in first grade. So it's a very good recipe, has lots of health benefits. I've shared with you guys a lot of them. Meanwhile, pour one cup of water into a steamer and boil it. After that, you may place the idli stand inside the boiling water and let it cook for 15 minutes on high heat. After a while, take off the lid and touch one of the idlis. If you get batter on your finger, that means it's not cooked yet. But if there's no batter on your fingers, that means you're ready to go. Now, turn off the stove and set the idli aside for a while to cool down. Wow, so delicious looking, right? After a while, since they've cooled down, you can t scoop the idlis out one by one. Aren't they so soft and spongy? You can eat it the idlis with sambal or any other traditional chutney. Thanks for watching. Bye!